A girl, for instance, would say, I don't see why I should cover my beauty. I'm beautiful. So why should I cover that up? Islam is telling me I should cover up. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the point. Let's deal with that one first. There's a there's an A and a B to this. That was A. The girl is saying she's beautiful. Well, to who? To who? And if you need to go down the street and show all your beauty to everybody, why? What are you trying to troll for? What are you trying to catch on your hook there? What's going on with your life? Do you need everybody to look at you? Because if this is your case, maybe you should get some counseling before you get in trouble. Because when women walk down the street half naked, they get raped. They get hurt, they get abused, or they wind up in relationships with people who only went after them for what they thought was physical beauty. And by the way, you've heard the expression, beauty is only skin deep. Well, by the way, it doesn't take long for people's skin to change. When people start getting older and start sagging and getting wrinkles, all of a sudden, she's going to be thrown out in the garbage. We have a country full of people been thrown in the garbage after they didn't have those so-called good looks anymore. So a lot of them wind up on drugs, hanging out with the wrong people. And drugs don't take a long time to destroy your looks, do they? Not at all. If you doubt what I said, just go out here tonight. I'm sure you got streets close to here. You can go out tonight and see all that you want. Really, really ugly. Islam is protecting your beauty and you're showing your beauty to the right one. Who should you be beautiful for? If you're a girl and you want to show your beauty off, who should it be for? Your husband. Why somebody else's husband? Were well, you trying to make that girl upset and jealous with you? Is that, is that how you get your, your, your happy mood come to you off of that? Huh? So Islam is showing you your beauty is to be protected from people who don't need to see it. But you want to show your beauty around your home, your family, your husband, and sure, that's right. But the problem we have in this country is the women want to put all of her stuff on and get all the, huh? The face is made up, the hair is made up, and then get out here with almost being dressed, not quite, and go down the street. And strangers, total strangers going, hey, baby, all right. Who's that? What is that? You see these guys, right? They consider they're not even manly if they can't, you know, check out the girls, whistle at them, touch them, pinch them, things like that. And they don't realize that this is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. It's so superficial and it's trashy. If that is your idea of beauty, then you need to redefine. You need to go back to the dictionary and think again what is beauty. Because true beauty comes from a person who is humble and kind and sincere. A person who is thinking and using their thinking process to benefit themselves, their family, and their society that they live in. This is something beautiful. One who suffers and sacrifices for the sake of their beliefs. One who's willing to stand firm on what is right and righteous. Not somebody that's willing to take off their clothes and walk down the street thinking that's going to get something going on. If that's your concept of beauty, you need to go back and start all over again. Because it's ugly. To me, the most beautiful women are those who cover themselves. Because then I can appreciate them for who they are instead of what they are. And there's a big difference. You don't, you know, the same poor lost souls who run around like that are the same ones who say, I don't want to be treated like an object. <laughs> Islam is the one protecting you from being treated like an object.